it, it is just an absolute privilege having been on the deck plates, having been an enlisted sailor, and to get the opportunity to lead the men and women in uniform of, of Spruance, of the varsity crew of Spruance, I am humbled and honored. This has been a phenomenal experience for me as, as, as captain. I am absolutely privileged and honored uh, to lead the 325 men and women in uniform. Uh, I tell you, uh, like I tell the crew, they are indeed a varsity crew. Uh, I've seen them uh, achieve significant things uh, during the life uh, of Spruin so far. Admiral Spruance, as USS Spruance's namesake, uh, carries an extreme obligation of making sure that we are executing Spruance's requirements just like Admiral Spruance did in the Battle of Midway during World War II. I tell the leadership of Spruance that we are in the business of developing sailors uh, in support of the mission, in support of making sure that we are executing our missions, providing the security and the stability of the United States of America. Start the problem, start the clock. One of the things that we do here is uh, the captain is very fond of saying uh, inject chaos. So our training needs to be realistic and we aim and focus on realistic training because in the real world things don't go perfect. They don't go the way we plan them to. So in our training and in our scenarios when we, we run drills we like to add some complexity in there that is closer to what we expect to see in the real world. We, we try to make sure that our scenarios reflect the geopolitical environment that we have today and the real threats and the real situations so that our sailors become adept at adapting to the circumstances and understanding their capabilities, the equipments, and how they can use that to meet the mission. The crew on board Spruance is uh, highly trained, uh, technically competent, and, and I would say the sailors today are, are a much higher quality than they were when I first joined the Navy. One of the things that I say every day uh, at Khaki Call, because it, it's true, is that um, DDG 111, the 111 stands for the number one wardroom, number one chief's mess, and by far the number one crew. This crew has uh, surpassed any, every expectation and continues to thrive in everything that they do. But to do that requires a lot of hard work and a steady strain approach to day-to-day -day maintenance, training, and uh, in our day-to-day -day jobs. The ship is required to be able to conduct 28 different mission sets. 
uh, with 325 sailors on board, that means that every sailor is doing multiple mission sets and, and able to do those and it's required to maintain proficiency in multiple areas. So each of our sailors is tasked to a high level and, and is extremely confident in doing that. I think we're contributing to national defense right now by uh, preparing ourselves to make sure that we're at the highest levels of uh, war fighting uh, proficiency when it's t our turn to go assume the watch. Uh, so in about a few months from now when we go on deployment, uh, we're making the preparations right now so that we're ready to execute our mission and to make sure that we're uh, safely bringing our crew back home. It's, it's really impossible for me to compare uh, Spruance to, to every other ship. Uh, but one thing I can say is that the, uh, the crew on board Spruance is, is amazing. The crew believes in, in uh, being the best. And that's not comparing ourselves to, to other ships. Uh, that is comparing ourselves to what the standard, the, the expectations of excellence. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, our, our competition is not the ships that are on the piers next to us, but the adversaries or potential adversaries they will be facing uh, on the other side of the world. It is impossible for us to know everything that is being planned or the reason why we're doing something, but we have to have the trust that our leadership is, is doing it for the right reasons. We have to trust that we've been properly prepared to execute the mission. And so to me, launch the attack uh, really boils down to that trust and confidence that is required for us to execute the mission and be successful.